For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that. So this is a Linux tutorial complete beginner's guide and uh, eighth video we are going to see that uh, understanding targets. So mapping the run levels to the target. So before in a previous versions like RHL 6 or RHL 5, uh, we having the run levels. But here we have the target. So how this targets to be understand and what the targets do and how it is was mapped with the previous comparisons. If you see that the run levels was uh, we have in a previous versions that uh, 0 to 6 like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But in this uh, new version of uh, Linux, example the uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8, we have a different uh, levels, run levels. So the run level, uh, we call it as an, a targets here, so not the run levels, but the targets also uh, to familiar with the previous run levels, they also created multiple targets with the similar type of uh, run level uh, names. So if you call it as run level 0 dot target or power of dot target which are the same uh, as uh, shut down the machine or the power of the system so you can uh, do that so run level 1 dot target or rescue dot target so if you'd like to do your system as a rescue shell example if you'd like to boot it as a single user mode in a previous versions or uh, we call it as a rescue mode over here so if you want to switch back to the rescue mode from your system you can do as well using the run level one dot target or rescue dot target so run level 2 dot target are multi user dot target and run level 3 and run level 4 so these are also a non graphical uh, non graphical multi user systems uh, example say like example if you set in a run level 3 which is basically uses the command line interface with the networking enabled on the previous versions of oh, here also it the similar way so multi user access with non -graf graphical uh, multi user system so basically so which is also similar mapping uh, with that so run level 2 run level 3 run level 4 are similarly works as a cli mode uh, without graphical user mode so if you set as a uh, run level 5 or graphical user target which is set as a graphical user system so you can able to access your gui on the linux server so if you set a run level 6 or a target as reboot or target the system will be reboot so shut down and reboot the system so this is what basically the run levels mapping with the target so either you can use the run level 0 dot target if you are familiar with the previous run levels or you can also use power of dot target uh, something like that so this both will be working uh, on the system so let's see how this uh, targets and what does target means and how the services will load while booting the system so let's jump into the practical and see how it goes so if i i just log in into my uh, system uh, cat slash etc uh, just see that red art release is 8.3 uh, 8.3 uh, red art enterprise linux version 3 here so i'm just going to see that if what is this um, default target currently i'm having here so system ctl get default so if you go to default uh, here you can see that which is set as an a graphical dot target so if i go to my machine open on a uh, we were here you can see that my machine has loaded into the graphical dot target so uh, that's why it shows graphical dot target as in a default one so when you set a graphical dot target as in a default one what happens in the background when the system has been booted so if you go to the cd slash etc system d system and type ls l default dot target so this is basically linked 
the default target to the whatever the default target we have currently so which is usr lib system d system dot system slash graphical dot target so what happens here is that if you go to this uh, graphical dot target uh, files you can see there are some um, services which are under those those files will be loaded here so if you go to ls and go to graphical dot target wants is a directory where basically whenever you reboot your machine and load it into the default as a graphical dot target so these are the default services which is going to be uh, started while system is starting so in similar way but here we have a different mechanism that whenever you have started as a graphical uh, dot target as a default what happens is that the target will load the display manager service first then it loads the um, display manager services after that then only kick into the uh, xenome display manager then after that the services will getting started so that's the graphical user does or if you set into the multi user so example how you can set this uh, multi user or the get default information here so system ctl is the command uh, if you get the uh, default target so this is the default but if you would like to set the default target as um, multi user target example system R we can also have the uh, targets here get default or system CTL set default example here so if you hit tap tab there are so many targets basically but I am talking about all of these not this targets I am talking about these targets here so run level 0 here run level 0 run level 1 run level 4 so these are the targets either you can also set that graphical user dot target or you can also set there is a multi user dot target so there are these are the run levels if you'd like to set it you can set it so i would like to set as a run level 3 as a default target here so let's just say that set default run level 3 as a target and let's execute it and I have to type the root uh, password in order to authentication completed. Now, if I see that system CTL get default as multi user dot target, but it is not um, completed yet. So, we need to isolate this in order without rebooting the system. We would like to change it to the uh, multi user dot target. Then you need to use system CTL isolate. Is the command you need to use and say multi user dot target so then type the root password then which will execute into the multi user system so system ctl and get the default uh, target details so now let's go into the virtual mach machine and see whether we have the which is changed from graphical user to this user so automatically which was changed if you'd like to change without rebooting your system from uh, multi user target to graphical user then again you can do that system ctl set default as graphical dot target or you can also use run level 5 run level 5 dot target anyways which works so I just authenticated my system with both of them then now again I just isolate with run level dot run level 5 dot target so which will change my system back to graphical user mode system CTL uh, get the default uh, target you can see that graphical dot target has been set now if you go to the virtual machine and see that this was changed from uh, CLI to GUI so that easy from switching back from graphical to multi user and multi user target to graphical this is very very simple and made easy with the uh, CSV uh, defaults so again whenever you uh, reboot your system 
uh, what happens in the background is that system D system and uh, graphical dot wants is the directory where these are the services will be loaded into your system if you go to the multi user dot targets dot wants so these are the services as enabled on the multi user dot target as a services so whenever it boosts then the system will load the services uh, then it will verify that those services are started uh, then it will um, boot the system properly so that's that's what the uh, targets will do so this is how even if you would like to uh, make your system reboot or power off you no need to use a, a previous commands like reboot or power uh, power off commands you can even use a system ctl um, reboot so this is what uh, viewer system reboot will work over here otherwise you can also use uh, system ctl power off uh, command so this is what uh, we can do over here or if you would like to go in back to the your rescue mode uh, from here system ctl you can just uh, uh, set the uh, default or just invoke that run level one to go back to the rescue mode but do not do do not try this rescue modes and uh, power off and reboot set default as a um, reboot and power off because whenever the system has been started it keep on rebooting the system so it never come up to the uh, system so but that's that's what it do so do not try uh, set the default as any uh, power off or the reboot so that makes your system continuous reboot or continuous power off okay so that's about the uh, targets or the mapping the run levels in between your run levels and the targets though this is how the system um, will work over here so we will work on more on system ctl so you, you should be familiar with system ctl for starting these services start of the services and you can able to check your system units like how what are the dependent units and all of this uh, service units all of this even you can just use verify that list uh, uh, example and dependencies uh, for the graphical dot target so what are the services need to be start in the background whenever you would like to enable the system graphical service graphical dot target so these are the dependent service which will automatically start whenever you enable this graphical dot target example if you'd like to verify your multi user dot target what are the services is going to be um, enabled on this multi user target so this is how all the services is going to start in the multi user dot target so that's how the system ctl and the target works so that's that's how uh, it mapped from run, run level to the targets so do not confuse anything but it does looks like it does not change much in between the run levels and the targets but they call run levels on the before version they call targets on these versions so that's what the main difference here thanks for watching stay tuned Please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses. Um, please share with your friends and do me a favor so that I can create more content uh, going forward.